Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah Jane from Misunderstood. Now today I'm going to talk about the importance of dopamine levels in people with ADHD. Now dopamine is a chemical found naturally in the body. It's a neurotransmitter, meaning it sends signals from the body to the brain. It's strongly associated with regulating emotions, but also pleasure and reward. But it's not that simple. In fact, there's a lot more to this complex chemical. Now, the right amount of dopamine usually goes along with a real good mood. It's great for learning, planning, and being productive. It also contributes to feelings of alertness, focus, motivation, and happiness. You think back to a time when you said no to a night out with friends because you had something else important to do. That's your dopamine in action. It helps you stay motivated and focused on your goal. Now, low dopamine levels are one reason you may not be in the best of moods. Or you might have less motivation to get up and do something that, or, or enthusiasm in any activity. You're not getting that feeling of pleasure or contentment. So when people with ADHD say it takes certain drugs, their levels of dopamine transporters go up. Nicotine, alcohol, or other drugs with addictive qualities activate the dopamine cycle. But these substances can cause a quick and intense dopamine rush. It's such a powerful rush that you're left wanting more. And soon, you love the feeling you get from taking drugs. And that is, that's because it's raising your dopamine levels. As a habit forms, the brain responds by toning down the dopamine. Now you need more of the substance just to get to the same pleasure level. So when you come to associate a certain activity with pleasure, just the mere anticipation may be enough to raise your dopamine levels. Substances such as cocaine and alcohol actually work two angles at once by hindering dopamine reabsorption into the brain and increasing dop dopamine sim simultaneously. Now once the dopamine is used up, the brain experiences a noticeable crash, which is when a person often ends up using more substances to restore the dopamine levels. Now prolonged or intense substances can cause the number of dopamine receptors to be less sensitive, leaving fewer sites for dopamine to bind and ultimately resulting in a vicious cycle of drug addiction, unemployment, loss of relationships and homelessness. So does it not make sense to get as much ADHD, ADHD awareness into schools before children with ADHD get caught in a vicious circle, loving the feeling they get from a high? Thank you for listening and I hope I've made sense to you today. Any questions you can contact me on Facebook or through the website. Also subscribe to my channel and click the button to be notified for any new videos. Thank you. Bye.